the highest. Glory, 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 glory to God in the highest. Father, we bless you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. You are faithful. Lord, we thank you. You are worthy. Worthy to be praised. Worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We honor you, O God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You want to bless the name of the Lord? And say, Father, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we come to bless you. Lord, we come to adore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you deserve the glory. You deserve the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, mighty God. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Welcome on the broadcast of the Holy Spirit Fire Hour today. And thank God, it is Friday. Give God the praise and glory. Say, Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless you, O oh God, for another day. I thank you for another end of another week. In the name of Jesus, my brother, Pastor Isaac Success Gofwen. God bless you, man of God. Our prayer is with you on the plateau. Our prayer is with you in the land of Biram land and all the plateau state and everywhere in the northern Nigeria as we pray that the justice will be done and everyone that valued the life of a cow more than the life of human being that god will bring all those people to book in the name of jesus christ as we pray for you your family your ministry and all the people of the state of plato state we decree and declare in the name of jesus christ no more killing no more any mayhem and no more massacre in the name of jesus christ we decree that the angels of the Lord continually guard you and the protection of God against the evil ones. All those headmen who believe more in the life of a cow, a life of a meat cow, than a human being. We decree in the name of Jesus, the judgment of the Lord will rest upon them and everyone sponsoring them, anyone giving them weapon, everyone encouraging them, everyone supporting them, whoever, wherever they are, the judgment of God comes upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for that nation and all those who lost their lives in a, on, on, the, on the tanker, the, 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 the blow explosion, the fire on the bridge in Lagos uh, and we decree in the name of Jesus. No more bloodshed. No more killing, stealing, destroy. The economy has gone so bad that I the India, India is now richer. But we decree the giant of Africa is coming back in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and the economy is going to boom again. I'm going to remove every bad presidency, every bad government, every evil government. I said it four years ago before it ever came to power that it is a wrong thing. It is not the man for the office. It is wrong and it's going to do a lot of evil. I said it, my friend in Maryland was saying no uh, where well, we're happy is there I said you're gonna see did you remove good luck you're gonna get bad luck uh, I, I'm not a politician I spoke as it was revealed in the spirit and I hate to see all that has gone wrong and gone down the drain and lives are cut short economy going bad India is getting on the top we decree in the name of Jesus restoration to that giant of Africa no more bloodshed no there is a lot of prayer in that country there is a lot of great ministers and preachers uh, that is because of the prayers of the elect. We decree the mercy of God be shown unto that giant nation again in the name of Jesus. We want to pray today for the nations of the world. Wherever you are also located, you believe with me, you agree with me, you know that uh, uh, the, the nations need to be prayed for. The presidency need to be prayed for. The leadership need to be prayed for. Many a time they say things and do things that you wonder if they, if they have any fear of God in them. If they have any regard for the lives of the people they are ruling. And we want to pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it said, when the righteous rule, the people are going to be blessed. When the righteous rule, that the economy is going to change, the peace and everything is going to be there. But it said, when the wicked come into power, the people are going to die and there will be chaos and there will be destruction. We come against any evil in the land. Begin to pray for that nation where you are. Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. For them that love it, they shall prosper. Them that love the peace of the land, them that pray for the peace of the land, they will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. And 
need you to pray for your community. I need you to stand in the gap for your land, for the residency, the place where you are located. That no more crying, no more dying, no more of any policy and government that is against God, that disregard God. Is a righteousness shall exalt a nation, but the sin is a reproach to any people. We decree in the name of Jesus Christ that righteousness will rule in the land. And God will not be thrown out of the country again, will not be thrown out of the system again. And we decree for all the preachers and all those who are laboring in love and in integrity and shepherding the people of God, that the Lord will give them the courage, the confidence, and to lead the people aright. It's all about leadership. And I pray the spirit of leadership from the Lord, the right spirit of integrity to rule and to lead the people aright, that the Lord release it upon you as the bishop, as the apostle and prophet and evangelist and pastors and reverend and, and, and prelate or whatever your hack bishop, your title. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not lead the sheep around. You will not lead them into the ditch. You will not lead them into destruction. Bible says when you scatter the sheep, uh, the sheep, uh, the, the shepherd, you, the, the scatter the shepherd, the sheep become uh, destroyed. Uh, just destroy the shepherd. He said that the, the sheep will be scattered. Uh, we decree your sheep will not be scattered. Uh, the shepherd will not be destroyed. Uh, but the hand of God will rest upon you. The fresh anointing and wisdom of God that you need uh, to function effectively will be released upon you in this hour in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Want to pray for all the all the church leadership and all the all the leadership in the government? Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Why? Because uh, they need prayer. They need prayer because the devil, it, the Bible says, is the prince of this world. He's the ruler of this world. Sometimes he pollutes their mind. Sometimes he contaminates their thinking. Sometimes he clouds their their reasoning that they can't think right. Uh, that, uh, and we decree in the name of Jesus, uh, we cancel every satanic program. You want to pray with me for Lat uh, Latin America in the country of. Venezuela, Venezuela. I, 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 I travel around, uh, oh, you know, South America doing missions and got people in Mexico and all, all, all around. We want to pray for, for Venezuela, for, for, for the peace of God in those nations. Uh, uh, it's so bad, the economy is so bad and people are going, 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 going into the trash to get food. Uh, you want to pray for them. Uh, you, I believe your condition is not that bad. You ain't going in the trash to get food. Uh, but you got to pray for those people. They are, they've got children in that nation uh, and, and you want to pray and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Venezuela. We pray, Lord, that you will, you will, you will bring peace in that nation and remove the bad government and restore peace in the name of Jesus in the land. In the name of Jesus, pray for your community also. Pray for the nation where you are, that the righteousness of God will, 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 will rule in that land. And if God has called you to be in politics, if God has called you to lead the people, you want to pray that, Lord, help me. Give me the voice. Give me the opportunity give me the stand uh, to be able to represent you in the government in the parliament in all the legislative uh, in the in, in, in whatever the senate whatever god has called you onto in the name of jesus that we pray for the believers you see everybody want to be a bishop everybody want to be an apostle and prophet and want to be the reverend in charge of the church uh, but that may not be what god has called you to that may not be what god wants you to be god wants you may, 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 to be a calling but your calling might be in the government your calling might be a senator your calling might be a governor your calling might be to serve uh, in, in some kind of capacity in the legislature or whatever and, and you're gonna pray the lord uh, make a way for me in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, politics, if you don't go there and shine, they said it's a dirty game, but not for the child of God. Uh, you need that we need the representatives of, of, of the children of God, uh, those who are not going to shy away from the truth, those who are going to stand in the place of integrity and say, I serve the Lord uh, and I represent him uh, and I'm standing for his word uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, in the name of Jesus. We want to pray against the spirit of Saul. The spirit of Saul is the spirit of leadership. Saul was the first king, and you know his story. He wasn't even expecting to be the king, but God chose him. And instead of him to humble himself and obey God and follow the instruction and direction that God gave him, go kill the Amalekites and destroy them totally. Do not res the rescue nothing. He, he did not obey. You know, you need to pray for the grace to have the spirit of perfect and absolute 100% obedience. 
obedient to the Lord. He said, obedient is better than sacrifice. And rebellion is like a sin of witchcraft. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't want to be rebellious to you. I don't want to practice witchcraft. I don't want to be a witch that I didn't even know. I don't want to be a warlock. And we come against every warlock and wizard and every evil that is clouding the mind of the people in this hour, in this season, in the name of Jesus Christ. But that the righteousness of God will reign. That the power of God will rule in the land, in the government, in the name of Jesus Christ. You want to pray with me? Stand in agreement with me against the spirit of Saul. The spirit of Saul is the spirit of rebellion. The spirit of Saul is the spirit of witchcraft. The spirit of Saul. The Bible says, when, when the spirit of the Lord departed from him, an evil spirit came upon him. Say, Lord, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. Psalm 51 and verse 10. Psalm 51 verse 10. He said, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me and create within me a, a right heart and a true spirit and renew within me a right spirit in the name of Jesus. That is your prayer, child of God, that Lord, I, I don't want your Holy Spirit to go away from me. The Bible says now after the Holy Spirit left him and I, after the evil spirit came upon him, he, he began to go after the witches and go after the witch in Endor to, to go into necromancy and uh, all sort of evil. I, I, I don't know how you're going to serve God uh, uh, holding on with the devil. You cannot be dancing with the devil and wonder how your life goes in hell. You will not go to the witches of Endor. You will not see power in the wrong source. For all power belongs to the Lord and he alone. He said, all power has been given unto me. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 8, 9, 10. He said, a name is given unto him above every other name because he went to the cross and paid the price and he rose again. He rose again at the preeminence, the preeminence, the preeminence. And he said, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. We're praying against the spirit of Saul. That spirit that leads into rebellion. That spirit that lead into, into disobedience. That spirit that want the public public uh, 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 image to be everything, you, your celebrity and all that. Uh, he said, honor me before these people. And the Bible say, uh, uh, Saul said, uh, uh, no, no, Samuel, you, you know, you're going to honor me. But let's pretend that everything is all right. And Saul said, no. Uh, uh, Samuel said, no, no. And he tore his garment. He said, the same way you have torn my garment, that is the same way God has torn your government. God has removed you from the kingdom. God has taken the kingdom away from you and God has given it. God has given it to someone whose heart is that he gave it to David in the name of Jesus Christ. You pray with me in the name of Jesus. The Lord, I need your presence. I need your power. I need fellowship, constant fellowship. That will be Philippians, Philippians, Philippians. Reverend Terry is not Ephesians, but Philippians chapter 2 in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying today and decreeing and declare we come against the spirit of error, the spirit that wants to maintain an image everything is fine 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 and then you 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 be lying to in the name of the lord and have disobedience and all that no 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 in rebellion in witchcraft in disobedience said obedience is better than sacrifice we decree in the name of jesus christ that lord we come against every spirit of rebellion and we pray for the spirit of obedience we pray for the spirit of constant fellowship with the holy spirit of god in connection and contact constant constant and communion with the spirit of the living God that the spirit of the Lord will not depart from you that the anointing will not depart from you that the presence of God will not depart from you that the grace of God will not depart from you in the name of Jesus Christ I need you to agree with me I'm going to 1 Samuel chapter 14 1 Samuel chapter 14 the Bible says from verse 43 and the people saved Jonathan that's the spirit of error when a man begins to fight his own son when a man has so much been filled with the devil that he doesn't want his son to leave and he want to kill him. First Samuel chapter 14. First Samuel chapter 14. You just want to read the whole, the whole account from verse 43 to 52. From verse 43 to 52. But the Bible says here right now, I'm just going to pick from uh, 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 verse, 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 verse uh, 45. Verse 45, and we pray on that in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, for Samuel chapter 14, for Samuel chapter 14 and verse 45. For Samuel chapter 14 and verse 45. Go with me for Samuel chapter 14 and verse 45 in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, and Saul answered, that will be verse 44. He said, Saul so answered, more so, for thou shalt surely die, Jonathan. That is Saul, his father. He said his son will surely die. First Samuel chapter 14 and, 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 and verse 44. Now, but verse 45 is where we're going to pray. 
that the people rescued him. The people said, no, he will not die, but he will live to declare and testify to the glory of God. If the Spirit of God had departed from you and you cannot, your mind is so clouded, all you do is evil, all you do is want to kill and destroy and backbite and backstab and destroy people. No, Jonathan will not die. He has done something good to the glory of God and rescued us. We're not going to let him die in the name of Jesus. Bible says, verse 45, he said, and the people said unto Saul, shall Jonathan die? Who had wrought this great salvation in Israel? God forbid, as the Lord liveth, there shall not one hair of his head fall to the ground, for he had wrought with God this day, so the people rescued Jonathan, that he died not. The people rescued Jonathan that he died not. 1 Samuel chapter 14 and verse 45. You're going to pray with me and decree and declare and announce in the name of Jesus. Lord, as I go in the month of July, as I go in the second half of the year, Father, raise unto me the right people. Raise unto me the people who will walk with me. Raise unto me the people who will fight with me. Raise on the people, not the people who will fight you, but the people who will fight with you. The people who will run the vision with you. The people who will support you. The people who will say, we got your back. The people who will say, with God on our side, we're, we're there for your salvation. That we will encourage you in the name of the Lord. That we will support you in the name of the Lord. That we will defend you in the name of the Lord. That you will prosper in the calling, the assignment that God has called you and this vision in this season in the name of the Lord. The people said, no. You may be his father, you may be a, a king, but because you have disobeyed God and now you want to kill Jonathan? No, 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 never. It's never going to happen. And they rescued Jonathan. 1 Samuel chapter 14 and verse 45. You're going to pray in the name of Jesus for the spirit of the right atmosphere around the people that comes with you. The, the spirit of integrity. The spirit of, 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 of sincerity, the spirit of, of loyalness, that the people be loyal to you, that the people be honest with you, that the people walk and support you and encourage you and walk with one heart and defend you. Not the kind of frenemies that they come to you and talk to you and, 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 and they go about again also to, 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 to tell your enemies how they can get you and how they can destroy you. Not the ones who smile at you and, and backstab you and turn their backs on you and backstab you. Not the ones that when you, when, when, when you need them, they are nowhere to be found. But when they want help from you and they need a favor from you, they are all around you and there for you. And after that, by Felicia, they can't find them anywhere anymore. You're going to pray in the name of Jesus. He said, and the people rescued Jonathan that he did not die. You're going to say in the name of Jesus, my children will not die. I will not die. I will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. As the year is going in the month of July, as the year is going in the second half of the year, as the year is going to the next six months of the year, that you will live and not die. And you will declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. That you will not bury your children. You will not bury your children's children in the name of Jesus. They will not die of opioid. They will not die of addiction. They will not die of accident. They will not die of shooting. They will not die of any gang association. They will not go to jail they will not go to prison they will not be incarcerated in the name of jesus that, that the lord will rescue them say father in the name of jesus as is it written first samuel chapter 14 and verse 45 lord that you will wrought a great salvation in my household you will work a great work in my life you will do something amazing in this year in this second half of the year for me and my life in the name of jesus christ don't you give up hope on those children even if you are not serving the lord now even if it's, in, if it's, if it's in incarceration and prison and rehabilitation now, that God will rescue them from destruction. Say, Father, rescue my children from destruction. Rescue my household from destruction. Rescue my finances from destruction. Rescue my, 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 my expectation from destruction. Rescue my children. Rescue my family. Rescue my ministry. Rescue my business, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. You need the salvation of the Lord. You need the blessing of the Lord. You need the hand of God to rest upon you. You need the greatness of God, the blessing, the open heavens from God. He said, God wrought such a great salvation.
such a great salvation in the name of Jesus Christ. That anyone and anything that want to kill, steal, and destroy you, you cancel, we cancel, we cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ. And that in this second half of the year, the Lord is going to do such an amazing thing for you that you will be, you will be amazed and you will be dazed. Psalm 126. And when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And then it was said among the Edens, uh, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, the Lord has done great things for them. Wherefore, we are glad. Do, do, do amazing things for me. Oh, Lord, bring back my captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what has happened to you in the first half of the year, but I bring the good news to announce to you that the better, the greater, the latter, and the best is yet to come in the name of Jesus Christ. That no evil will come around you again. The Lord will give you a great harvest in the second half of this year as the showers of blessing is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. If you stick with me, I've been running a teaching from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I'm going to conclude it today in the name of Jesus. The showers of blessing. The showers of blessing and the rain, the abundance of the rainfall of God. No more famine, no more evil coming over you in the name of Jesus. You will walk in the season of the favor of God and all your seed will not die in the ground, but it will flourish and you will reach a great harvest. He says, Psalm 126, he said, there is seed that goes about weeping weeping maybe you've been weeping and it was bearing precious seed uh, you planted seed you've sown seed you've tears you've tears and crying and cry I, I, I want you to know Bob said that your cry your cry God has put it in his bottle and he remembers it don't you think God is mean don't you say God has forgotten you don't you say God hates you God loves you and he's going to do amazing thing for you I tell you he's going to do great things for you in the name of Jesus Christ uh, you got to believe him you're going to receive it you're going to prepare for it you're going to wait with expectancy with expectation with great faith uh, and great things uh, are going to happen for you. Isaiah chapter 45, Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 3. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 3. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that the Lord will cause the great uh, hidden treasures of the darkness to be revealed to you. That the Lord will shine a light to you. Isaiah chapter 45, uh, Isaiah chapter 45, uh, 45 uh, and verse 3. That the Lord will take you to the riches of greatness, the riches of darkness and the wealth of the righteous will transfer to you in this second half of the year in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and all the others. He said, in that Psalm 126, he said, he goes about weeping. He was sharing the seed. He was planting the seed. He was weeping. It, it, it wasn't easy, but he did it anyway. It was painful, but he, he kept on praying. It was painful, he kept on sowing the seed. It was painful, he kept on declaring the word. It was, it was faithful, even when it was not convenient. He continued to stand in integrity and begin to declare and would not compromise and would not turn his back on God and he was going about uh, and he said uh, he will doubtless come back he will doubtless come back without doubt He's going to come back with a bountiful harvest, bringing in the sheaves with him. Psalm 20, 126, from, I think it was 5 and 6. Now, now he will bring forth and harvest. I decree and declare that you will not have to cry over your children and your children's children in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will not have to bury any one of them. Uh, and the glory of God is going to shine over you in this season. In this second half of year, God is going to hurt to you and there will be no, di no, 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 no distraction. There will be no, 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 no substraction. Action. But God is going to hurt to you. You are coming in the season of addition. You are coming into the season of greater harvest uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, now, now we're going to pray as we continue and conclude the teaching today on the Holy Spirit fire hour that I started on the uh, uh, Lord release unto me the showers of blessing. Lord release unto me a harvest. And yesterday I, 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 sh I shared with you from First Kings uh, uh, chapter 18, First Kings chapter 18, and we read from verse 40 to verse 46 but I want to I want to zero in emphasis as we take off from here in verse 46 today first King chapter first Kings chapter 18 and now verse 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 46 he said and the end of the Lord was on Elijah and he gathered up he gathered it up his loins and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel you want to pray that, that the, the, the strength, that God will give you extra strength to run the race successfully. 
the overtaken anointing the bible says in iran the end of god was upon him the anointing was upon him the grace of god was upon him and he had to run he outran the best chariots in the land he outran the chariot of the king outrunning now you're going to overcome where they said you will not you will not get to you're going to overtake where they said you will never go in the name of jesus i don't know maybe you already give up the dreams and say well i i, I can't go to jamaica i can't go to the caribbean i can't go to bahamas i, I can't go to india for vacation or china <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I've given up that dream. My children are going to go. They will be the one to go to New Zealand. They will be the one to go to Australia. No, don't you give up that. When the extra strength and the end of God comes upon you, he said the chariot of, ah of Ahab the king, Elijah had so much strength that he overran and outran and overtake him. Anyone who has gone ahead of you, God will give you the grace to overcome and overtake in this season. In the name of Jesus, you are not competing with nobody. Uh, it's your season, it's your time going to come also. In the name of Jesus Christ. When we talk about strength, it's not by the strength and the human energy that you can overcome. It is by the strength that God gives. It is by the power that God gives. I'm going to show you from 1 Samuel chapter 2. 1 Samuel chapter 2. This was Anna. Hannah, she has been praying, Lord, give me a child. Lord, give me a baby. You see, Penina and Elkanah, they had all the babies. I ain't got nothing. And now, uh, the Bible says, even Penina was, 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 was making fun of her. But it, was, it, was, it was despising her. I don't know who has been despising you, but I come to announce to you that when God gives you that extra strength and the hand of God rests upon you, the Bible says now that in the book of Exodus, that after that Moses dropped the rod of Aaron and, and, and that rod turned into a serpent, that all the magicians did the same. The devil the devil always try to imitate God. The devil always try to use his magic, but there is no power that is above the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And the word of God says uh, that all the, the magician and all their sword, they said, well, we can do that also. They dropped their sword and their sword swallowed. Now, now their sword also became a serpent. And the Bible said, now the serpent of, uh, of, of the rod of, of, of Aaron and Moses, now he swallowed up all their serpents. Now, when you have encounter with the strength and the end of God upon you, Bob said Elijah had that power. Elijah had that anointing. Elijah had that strength from God, extra strength, and he outran the chariot of the king. He went up to the gate in Israel, to the entrance. You are going to enter to the door that they have shut against you in this season. We decree a open door of Israel. We decree an open door of elevation. We decree an open door of a, a promotion and exhortation coming for you and celebration coming for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout amen and I receive it in Jesus' name. And the Bible says now, all the magician and the Pharaoh and all them, they say, well, this is the finger of God. This is the hand of God. We have never seen it like this before. Our magic cannot imitate this. Now, there is power that passes power. The power of God is no match for the power of the enemy. The power of God is supreme and ultimate above every other power. That's Philippians 2. Is that a name given unto him above every other name? That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm standing in the place of the power of God and no power no 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 nothing can hinder me in this second half of the year I'm walking in my glory I'm walking in my perfection in the name of Jesus Psalm 138 and verse 8 he said Lord that you will remember me that you will not forget the works of your hand that you will perfect that which concerns me Say, Lord, I decree and I declare you will perfect that which concerns me in the month of July. Even as I cross into the second half of the year, you will do greater things for me than the first half of the year. You will open doors that have been shut against me in the first half of the year. I'm going through to the entrance in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Paul, the apostle began to say, a great and effectual door was opened before me, but there was many adversaries. Wherever God was going to go do, a, do, a, do a good thing, the enemy will always want to indict. They, they, they said, we wanted to come to you once and again, but the Satan indicted us. You're going to say, in the name of Jesus, everywhere I want to go and what you have planned for me to do and everything you have programmed for me to reach my potential and the purpose and the blessing that you have for me and the promises that have been spoken over me. Father, there will be no hindrances anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, I pray that the Lord God now 
put Satan under your feet in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, the enemy will not have dominion over me, but they shall come under my feet in the name of Jesus, and I will walk in victory, I will walk in dominion, I will walk in power, and I will walk to the place that the enemy said they're going to hinder me from coming into in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says they began to see and recognize the power of God, and all the magicians say we cannot imitate this one. Why? Because this is surely the finger of God, the finger of God, the hand of God. If you give God the glory and praise for his finger, you're going to see the hand of God. If you give God the praise and quit complaining and murmuring that, well, I've been believing God from January. They said I was going to travel. They said I was going to have this. They said I was going to have that. And now I didn't have it. I ain't got no nothing. And I went to church and I ain't got no nothing. No, God, will you quit complaining? Will you quit whining? And praise the Lord and bless the Lord and thank the Lord and that is how your praise your praise will continually be in my mouth that's what the bible says it didn't say complaining will continually be in my mouth it said praise will continually be in my mouth in the name of jesus first corinthians chapter 10 and verse 10 corinthians 10 and verse 10 it said neither murmur ye as they murmur in the wilderness in the book of numbers and they was destroyed by the serpent they was destroyed by the destroyer when you murmur when you complain when you begin to whine in the devil will begin to attack you the devil will have an advantage over you the devil will be able to oppress you the devil will be able to afflict you but when you give in to give praise to god when you begin to magnify the name of the lord when you begin to glorify God when you begin to thank God for the things and the great things that he's doing and he's gonna do and he's done for you he's going to do a great a great 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 greater things for you in the name of of Jesus Christ. You magnify the Lord, you don't magnify the problem. You glorify God, you don't whine and complain and, and, and murmuring. Uh, uh, because the, the, the murmuring does not, do, you cannot murmur and praise at the same time. No. If you are praiseful, if you are thankful, you will not be in a attitude of murmuring and sorrow. Uh, to mama, you got to be negative. To mama, you got to be depressing. To mama, you got to be. To, you, you cannot see things come in the way God wants you. So you got to begin to bless the name of the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord with a grateful heart, uh, with a praiseful heart. And as you begin to do that, it's going to do amazing thing for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and we shared in, in all the series how that he kept on praying seven times. He kept on praying seven times until God did amazing thing until the move and the the power of God uh, and the seventh time God did great things. Now in the seventh month coming, God is going to perfect everything that concerns you in the name of Jesus Christ. And surely the people will see that this is the finger of God. Surely the people will see that this is the doing of the law. That's Psalm 126. Psalm 126, he began to say that, uh, that the Lord has done great things for them. These the people that was testifying. It's the people that began to see the good things God has done. He said the people were going to testify and say, yeah, the Lord has visited them. The Lord has turned around their captivity. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done amazing things, wherefore they are glad. Uh, the things that God is going to do for you, the things that God is set to do for you in this new season that will change your story, that will elevate you, that will take you from the level that you are now and shoot you up even up to the greater dimension and higher ground uh, and change your story forever and change all your story story to glory glory in the name of jesus that you will receive it in the name of jesus christ that the people began to say the lord has done great things for them say lord do something in my life that will bring the people and say yes we have seen the thing god has done for you now we're going to please uh we will we, we show us the way to your god uh, now pray for us now i i, I covet that blessing i want to i want to i want to experience the thing God done for you also so that I can be blessed uh, you know you know when, when, when those magicians were throwing down their, their serpent uh, I mean their, their rod and it was turning into a serpent uh, they, they thought they were they was gonna they was gonna intimidate and, and but when they saw the power of God when they saw the bona fide and the supreme and the ultimate power and demonstration uh, uh, they, 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 they said no we, we can't do this one this one is beyond us this one is no African magic this one is no Egyptian magic uh, no this one is the raw power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible talks about, uh, he said in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, he said, if the cloud, verse 3, 
the book of the preacher, Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 3. He said, if the clouds are full, they will pour out rain upon the earth. Whether a tree falls to the south or the north, in the place where it falls, there it will lie. Verse 4, Ecclesiastes 11, verse 3 and 4. He said, he who watches the wind will, not, will, will, will fail to sow, and he who observes the cloud will fail to reap. Now, if you want the harvest, you got to not fail to sow. You got to take uh, the seed that God has given you. If it's not sufficient for you, it's a seed. So you got to sow it by faith to receive an abundance of the harvest. But he said, it will fail to sow. He who observe the cloud will fail to also reap. But he will sow when the cloud be full of rain. It will empty. The Bible says in that, that, that text we read yesterday, of, uh, 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 it said uh, now that the heavens was, was black. The cloud was full of rain. And we decree and declare that the heavens will empty themselves of, a, of a showers of blessing for you in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, God wants to give you a covenant of his peace. He don't want you to be in pieces anymore. He don't want you to be uh, shattered and scattered here and there anymore. He don't want you to be in depression. He don't want you to be, to be, to be, to be, to be you know, mourning and sorrowful. He said he gives you the garment. He gives you uh, 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 the praiseful spirit. He gives you uh, a spirit anointed to rejoice in, in the place of a mourning. He gives you the garment of praise. The garment of praise. He turns the, beauty, the ashes into beauty. The ashes into beauty. And the garment of praise of the spirit of mourning. He replaces it. He replaces it. He it, it will endure you. Uh, it, will, it will change your, your circumstance and, and glorify himself in the name of Jesus. He gives you a covenant of peace. Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 25 up to 27. Ezekiel chapter 34. He said, I will make with them a covenant of peace and read the land of wild animals so that they may dwell securely in the wilderness and sleep in the forest. And I will make them and the places all around my hill a blessing. And I will send down showers in their season. And there shall be showers of blessings. And verse 27, it said, The trees of the field will give their fruit, and the land will yield its produce. My flock will be secure in their land, and they will know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bars of their yoke and delivered them from the ants that enslaved them. Say in the name of Jesus, Ezekiel chapter 34, from verse 25 to 27, that no more enslavement for me, no more servitude for me. I am free, I am free, I am free. I love that song, but our brother, um, was it was Jonathan, his name, he said, I am no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I am a child of God. You got to come to understand your place. You are not a slave. You are free. You are a child of God. In the name of Jesus. And God has made a covenant of peace with you. God has made a covenant of peace with you in the name of Jesus. He said he will make a covenant of peace and read all the wild animals. That is to say, no any wild animals, no any devil will be able to harass you and molest you and abuse you any longer. In the second half of the year, no wild animals, no any accident, no any evil, no any trouble around you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he said, it will make you a blessing. And there will be showers of blessing. There will be showers of blessing. Say, everywhere I go in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let there be your blessing on me. Let that be your blessing around me. Let that be your blessing upon me. Let your blessing go with me. Let your mercy and favor, he said, Psalm 23, is that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. You want to pray for your children, 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 and your father and your husband and your wife and all them your loved ones and your church and your ministry that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in the name of Jesus everywhere they go now you need that surely goodness and mercy of God uh, to go with you in this country now in this place now where you know it was Annapolis Annapolis it, it was a shooting it, the, now, now you're gonna pray for your kids as they go to school as they go on school bus as they go to shopping mall as they go wherever they go no more shooting no more some crazy person going shooting and gone 
around and bombing people and killing people in the name of Jesus we decree and declare God will comfort them who have been afflicted and those who have uh, you know the, the families that have been uh, 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 you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, affected in, the, in in that in that in that in that uh, massacre in the name of Jesus but you want to pray that surely the goodness of God the favor of God the protection of God we guide you we protect you you won't be in the wrong place at the wrong time you won't be in the place of shooting when you shouldn't be there. That God, you know the way the GPS tells you, you got to go in 1,000 feet, it's every rerouting, it's going to reroute you. That the angels of God and the Lord will direct your path and reroute you and take you through another place that you will not be in the path of destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ, that the Lord will strengthen you. I'm still coming back onto that. When the covenant of peace of God comes upon you, he said the hand of the Lord was upon him, he gave him extra strength. Empowered Elijah. So that he was able to outrun the chariot of the king and he was able to go further he was he said he will secure the land that they will know that i am the lord and i've broken the yoke and that delivered them from the hands of their enslavement god is going to deliver you from the end of enslavement in the name of jesus christ all right we're going to pray the prayer of praise the prayer of praise of anna the prayer of praise of hannah because when 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 anna was was in that farming when, when she was being she was being accused she was being she was being you know treated and 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 rubbish and, and all that but god turned around her story god is able to turn around anything god is able to to wherever you've been dishonored god is able to to change the story around and turn the table around psalm 23 he said he anointed me he set a table before you in the presence of your enemies in the presence of your enemy is going to turn the table around it's not going to kill your enemy it's not going to make them die we're not praying that they die we say lord set a table in the presence of my enemy and 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 anoint my head to overflow anoint he said that he's going to set a table they won't be able to uh, to destroy your table they won't be able to touch your blessing because the edge of protection the power of god is around you in the name of jesus christ first summer chapter two is a prayer of honor is a prayer of praise and that's what you got to you got to pray as you go in the second half of the year as you go in the month of perfection the month of july in the name of jesus christ you got to be full of praise that god you are able to change my story that god you are able to change the circumstance that god you are able you are more than able to do exceedingly and do great things for me and my family and my children you believe in god for some wonderful thing you believe in god for open doors you believe in god for the visitation of god is going to do amazing thing for you in the name of jesus christ now for first samuel first samuel chapter 2 i'm going to read from verse 1 to 10. he said and hannah prayed and said my heart rejoices in the lord my horn is exalted in the lord my mouth is enlarged over my enemies because i rejoice in your salvation in your salvation you know the salvation of god is not just come to the altar and weep and cry and and write your name in the book of record of of of, of the church that you are saved and got baptized no the salvation of God also include the deliverance. The salvation of God go beyond just to say a few prayers after the preacher. The salvation of God prepares you and gives you enlargement, gives you an increase, gives you deliverance, gives you healings, and gives you exhortation above your enemy. He said, He has anointed my horn above my enemy, and I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to rejoice in the Lord. you got to rejoice in the Lord. you got to rejoice because God is going to answer your prayer. you got to rejoice because God is going to change your situation. you got to rejoice because God is a faithful God and He will come through for you. He will never fail. He will never fail. He will never fail you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I love Sissy, Sissy Winners. Sissy Winners' song said, He has never failed me once. He will never disappoint you at all. He has never failed. He will never fail in the name of Jesus. The enemy is going to tell you, you know, you know what? But this year is going to an end now. You know, it's January, February, it's June now. You're going to July. You ain't going to get no nothing. Say, shut up, devil. And rejoice in the Lord. And rejoice in the Lord. Nehemiah said, Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. He said, now, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. We're talking about the extra strength that God gave Elijah. We're talking about the super strength that God gave Elijah. We started out from James, the book of James, and said that Elijah was a man of like passion from us. But something distinguished him, the spirit of prayer. Something distinguished him, the spirit of the Lord. Something distinguished him, the strength that God released upon him. And Nehemiah said, now, everybody rejoice with one another. No weeping, no sh 
Lord. Uh, those that don't have a food at the celebration that they were having after the, the Lord returned the captivity of Zion. He said now, uh, uh, and they built the wall and they completed and were dancing and celebrating and overcome all the Sambalat and the Tobias and all the enemies and, the, and, and, and all them who, who were opposing them. And he said now, if you don't have gifts to those who don't have and share and be a blessing to one another. And he said, uh, and it's not a time of mourning, it's a time of celebration, it's a time to jubilate, it's a time to rejoice together because why? The joy of the Lord is your strength. I decree in the name of Jesus that you're going to rejoice in the second half of the year in the name of Jesus. No more secret crying and weeping and weeping and weeping at night for you anymore. But the Lord will cause you to rejoice in the name of Jesus. He said there is none holy as the Lord. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord, but there is none beside thee. Neither there is, is there any rock like our God. Neither is there is any rock like a God. That's a song. That's a song we sing back in the back in the holy. You know, there is none holy as the Lord, and there is none beside thee. Neither is there is any rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. For Samuel chapter two and verse two, there is none holy as the Lord. Listen to me. It's all about God. It's all about God. Your enemy, your situation, your challenges, your circumstance, the threat you got, the notice you got, the whatever, the, 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 the court case or whatever it is you're going through, the doctor's report or whatever it is. There is none holy as the Lord. There is no rock like our God. There is nothing that the enemy can do to you. When God, he said, take me to the rock that is higher than I and hide me under the rock that is higher than I. Now when God takes care of you, when God covers you, when God... Uh, 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 and upon you and put an extra strength upon you you'll be strengthened uh, you go further you go higher whatever they said you was not going to get god's going to make it happen for you in the name of jesus and turn around and turn and cancel that doctor's report and give you a great report and give you a good news report you will have a praise report in the name of jesus you will have a prosperity and uh, 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 progress report uh, in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus he said now verse three he said, talk no more, so exceedingly proud. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth. <laughs> talk not, you, and let not arrogance come out of your mouth. Uh, all those arrogant people, all those arrogant people that talk not like that. Feninas, shut up, God has done great things. Uh, he said, talk no more, so exceedingly proud. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. You got to, it's about action. I talked about in this series, your intention, your actions, and all that. And I decree in the name of the Lord, that God is going to give you the, the, the spirit of humility. You know, one of the problems of people is that when God now exalts them, when God promotes them, arrogance comes in. Uh, pride comes in. But pride goes before you fall. I have never seen anyone go raise eye and become prideful that don't come down. Go and ask Nebuchadnezzar. He's going to tell you that, no, you, you, gotta, you don't mess with God. you got to humble yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Said, don't talk so much exceedingly. It's so exceedingly proud. All those people proudful and boastful and all that. Uh, no, 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 no. you got to humble yourself before the Lord. He said the arrogancy. Now, I'm going to tell you something about arrogancy. Arrogancy and ignorance are brothers. They are this, this one, one coin. Two sides of one coin. Anybody that is arrogant, you know it's ignorance. Anybody that is saying, I did this, I did that, shut up. You didn't do no nothing. God is the one that does everything in the name of Jesus. Bible says they rescued Jonathan. Uh, the, the people they didn't they said no Saul shut up you don't have no say in this we're going to save this boy you're not going to kill him for God has used him for our salvation in the name of Jesus Christ there is nothing no, there is no any great man of God anywhere there is only a great God that God is using a man so when you see people getting and blowing their trumpet and all that no 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 when God is going to use a man you've got to be humble you've got to be humble the more God bless you the more you want the blessing of God be humble before God be humble before God in the name of Jesus. It's going to open doors for you. It's going to increase the grace and the anointing upon your life. It is not by your power. It is not. It, I'm coming to that verse. He said it's not of your strength. Let any man to prevail or let any man to boast of their strength. Not your strength. Not your strength. No, 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 no. No, sir. Not your strength, madam. 
is the strength and the grace of God. Don't be arrogant about it. Don't be boastful about it. Be humble and return the glory and the praise to God in the name of Jesus. For God is a God of knowledge. God is a God of knowledge. Don't you think God didn't know? God knows the pride. God knows the, the arrogance. God sees everything. And that's one of the gifts of the Spirit. It said the word of knowledge. God is a God of knowledge. He's not a God of ignorance. He's a God of knowledge. And you've got to seek the knowledge of God. You've got to seek, he said in, in, in the book of uh, Psalms, uh, he said, the meek will he teach his way. The meek will he guide in the way that he should go. Be humble before God. Bible talks about Moses. Moses said there was nobody like him in all the service of the earth. He was the most meek man. He was the most humble man. And that is the same thing. God wants you to be humble. God wants you to be meek in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, verse 4. 4 Samuel chapter 2, verse 4. He said, The bowels of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are gathered with strength. He said, They that were full of, uh, of hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry were seized, so that the barren had born seven, and, and she that had no, 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 uh, uh, that she that had many children is what feeble. Is she that has many children now is wax feeble. He said, the verse 6, he said, the Lord kill it and the Lord make it alive. He break down to the grave. He bring down, bring it down to the grave and bring it up. It is God that promotes. It is God that brings up. It is God that kills. Ain't no killer anywhere. Jesus said, do not fear them that have killed the body and not killed the soul. But fear God who can kill the soul, kill the body, kill the spirit, kill everything. Kill and kill again. That's the God that we serve. He said, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. Say, Father, enough of poverty in my life now. In this seven month, in this last half of the year, you want to bring me up, oh God. Bring me up, bring me up, bring me up, bring me up, and bring me on to lift me up to riches and blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift me up to abundance. He said, I hear the sound of the abundance of the rain. In the name of Jesus. Now, there will be abundance for you. No more debt. No more credit card debt. No more debt and foreclosure. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among the princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the heart of the Lord. And he has set the world upon them. Say, Father, lift me out of the donkey. Lift me out. Lift me out of whatever is putting you down. Out of anything that does not glorify God in your life. That God will lift you up and establish you high in the, in the palace place. And establish you among the princes on the throne of glory. I want to inherit my throne of glory. Say, Lord, take me up to the throne of glory in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. That he may set the world upon them. That God will change your story. God will do amazing things for you and prove himself as the Lord Almighty that works wonders in this second half of the year in the name of Jesus. He said he will keep the feet of his saying that the wicked shall be silent in darkness. The wicked shall be silent in darkness. I've always said this. You don't do no wicked to nobody. You don't wish nobody no evil. You don't do no weakness, no darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. And as you begin to, to stand on what is right, standing for the truth, standing and doing good god is going to bless you god is going to do amazing thing for you in the name of jesus he said he keep their feet of his saint say lord order my steps order my steps order my steps maybe i've been walking in the wrong place maybe i've been going to the wrong places maybe i've been doing the wrong thing that i didn't even know but lord guide my steps in the right direction order my steps dear lord in your word lead me guide me order my steps oh god Lead my feet in the right direction. Let me be in the right place at the right time. That I will not be and walk in the path of destruction and go to the wrong place in the name of Jesus. Lord, lead me in the path of light. I don't want to walk and grope in darkness. In the name of Jesus. Said only the wicked, the wicked, the evil ones, the haters, the adversary, they are the ones that they will be silent in darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. He said now, for by strength shall no man prevail. That's where I'm going to. For that was the strength that God gave Elijah. The strength that make him to outrun, to overtake. The overtaker's anointed. The overtaking anointed. The overflowing anointed. Is coming for perfection in the second half of the year in the name of Jesus. For the by strength shall no man prevail. The strength of human. You can prevail with it. You need the strength of the Lord. He said the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. 
and the Lord shall judge the, from the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. Say, Father, I need you, O God, to give me victory over every adversary. Put my adversary, break them to pieces. That's what he said. For Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. All their plotting, all their planning, all their scheming, all their lies, Lord, every allegation, accusation. Father, blot them into pieces in the name of Jesus. Put my adversaries to shame in the name of Jesus. And Lord, thunder from heaven. Thunder from heaven. Lord, fight for me from the heavenly places. Quit fighting for yourself. Quit trying to, to make it happen for yourself. Let the heavens open over you in the name of Jesus. And he said, he will give strength unto the king. Now, that is the strength that makes you to prevail. Not the strength of your strength, of your own, of your thinking, of your planning, of your plotting. But the strength of God. The extra strength of God. He said, the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah. And he had so much strength. And he went forward. And he overcame and overtake the chariot of the king and entered into Jezreel. You will enter where they said you won't go. And the strength of the Lord will come upon you in the name of Jesus. The strength of the Lord. Say, Father, I need strength. I need your strength. I need strength. You know, you need strength. I tell you, you need strength physically in your body. You need to be healthy to be able to live well in this life. You can't be going to doctor's office every day. Sometimes the doctor will be tired of seeing you. But we have the greatest physician and he's the one that will help you, that will heal you, that will deliver you. He said, they that wait upon the Lord. I'm coming in Isaiah chapter 40 now. Isaiah chapter 40. He said, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall fly and not be... They, they will not faint. You don't want to faint in the name of Jesus. Is that even the youth, even the youth, they shall they shall be weary, and the young men shall be utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not be faint. Lord, I want to fly like an eagle. I want to move like an eagle. Now you got to take time to read through that uh, uh, Isaiah chapter forty. He began to say, "To wound with you like in me." To whom will you liken me? To whom will you liken me? There is none like our God. There is no God like Jehovah. There is none like him. There is none that can be compared to him. He is the God Almighty. He is the way maker. He is the one that keeps the promises. What he says he's going to do, he's going to do it. He is faithful God and he never fails in the name of Jesus. You're going to praise him. You're going to applaud him. You're going to bless him. You're going to celebrate him for the breath of life in you, for the gift of life in you, for the thing that is done for you, for the thing that is doing that you don't even know the door that is shut and the, uh, the evil that he blocked uh, and every evil that is pre prevented and protected you from uh, uh, and the thing that is going to do for you always be praiseful always bless him always thank him in the name of jesus christ now Zechariah chapter 10 i'm coming to a close now Zechariah chapter 10 it said judah and israel will be restored and that will be your testimony in the second half of the year in the month of july you will be restored restoration of health restoration of peace, restoration of blessing, restoration of favor, restoration of relationship and, and peace and joy in the name of Jesus. He said in Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1, he said, ask the Lord for the rain. We're talking about Lord release the rain of your blessing. Release the showers of your blessing. Abundance of the rain. He said now ask the Lord for the rain. Zechariah chapter 10 and verse 1. Ask the Lord for the rain in the springtime. The Lord makes the storm cloud and he will give them showers of rains and crops of the field for everyone. For everyone. You know, God rains his rain upon the wicked and the good. If God was going to segregate, if was God, God was going to say, these ones are evil, I'm not going to rain rain on them, on their house. You know, something about rain, you can be in the north and rain is raining and you, you move forward a few meters, a few miles from there and there is no rain in the other place. That is how mighty and how wonderful our God is. But he rains, it rains and his blessing and showers upon everyone. You're going to ask for the rain and the favor of God in the name of Jesus the Lord. I am ready for the rain. I am ready for the blessing. I am ready for the showers. I'm ready to be blessed. Uh, I'm ready to, to, to walk not in my strength but in the strength of the Lord, uh, in the wisdom of the law, in the open doors of the law, in the favor of God, uh, in the goodness of God, uh, in the things that you are going to make happen for me, not the things that I'm going to try to fix and walk and walk out for myself. Uh, he said, ask the Lord, ask the Lord, ask the Lord, uh, until Hannah asked the Lord for that son, uh, until Hannah said, God, you give me a boy
boy and I'm going to give him back to you. Until you come to that point and quit playing game with God uh, and go to that point with God. Bible says Eli, Eli the prophet didn't even know, Eli the priest, he said now this woman is drunk. Why are you drunk and coming into my church in my altar? He said I'm not drunk, I'm not drunk. He said, I'm a woman of the sorrowful heart and I'm pouring out my heart unto the Lord uh, until you come and bear your own heart before the Lord. Uh, and God will do what he alone is able to do, what no man can do. God alone can do it. Uh, there is no argument about it. Uh, there is no debate about it. Uh, it is the doing of the Lord, the Bible says. Uh, and it is marvelous, marvelous in our side. He said he will give them showers of rain and crops of the field for everyone. Say, bless me. As you are blessing every other people, all those hymn, old hymns we sing, uh, we say, pass me not, O gentle Savior. While thou on others you are calling, one does you are blessing others. Do not pass me by. You think God is going to pass you by, pass you by in six months, and pass you by in one year, and pass you by in two years now. Say, Lord, Savior. I do not pass me by, oh God. Uh, while on others you are calling, when you are raining your rain on the other others, Lord, I'm asking for the rain too. I'm asking for a miracle here. I need a miracle, Lord. I need your blessing, Lord. I need your visitation, Lord. I need you to smile on me, Lord. Uh, I need you to smile on me, Lord. Uh, I need you to, to, to look in my direction and send a rain in my direction, oh God. Uh, send your blessing in my direction, oh God. Open the heavens around me, oh God. Open doors for me and change my level and change my story and change my glory and, and lift me up in the realm of higher glory in the name of Jesus Christ. He said he found the showers of rain for the crops from the field for everyone. And he said for the idols that speak at deceit and divine as a sea illusion and tell false dreams and off, off our empty comfort. Therefore the people wander like sheep and oppressed for the lack of a, sh of a shepherd. Say Lord I don't want to be in the wrong the false people. That's what he's saying. Zechariah chapter 10 verse 2. I don't want to be among those who speak deceit. I don't want to be among those evil, all those oppressed, all those false prophets and false dreams and false empty words and empty comfort and they wander away and they turn away from God. Lord, I want to walk in your word and your will and stand in your integrity and know that you did it for me and no man going to take the glory in the name of Jesus. Psalm 135 verse 7, Psalm 135 verse 7, it said, God, he caused the cloud to rise from the ends of the heart. The only God, he caused the cloud to cloud to rise from the ends of the earth and set the lightning with rain and bring the rain, bring the wind from his tall houses. Say, Lord, in my tall houses, oh God, it will not be empty in this end of the year. My barn, my my, my closet, my pantry will not be will not be will not be will not be. That will be Gloria Gooding. Thank you very much. Zachariah chapter 10 and verse 2. Zachariah chapter 10 and verse 2. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 135 and verse 7. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 23. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 13. And Joel chapter 2 and verse 23 in the name of Jesus. Joel chapter 2 verse 23. He said, Be glad, O children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the autumn rains for the vindication, and he sent you showers. Go autumn and the spring rain as before. It's going to send you the latter rain. It's going to send you the former rain. It's going to send you double. Double for your trouble. Joel chapter 2 verse 23. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 13. It said, When he thunders the waters of the heaven roar, and he causes the cloud to rise from the ends of the earth, and he said, Lightning with the rain and bring the wind from his storehouses. You need God to visit your storehouses. You need Him to bless you abundantly. Uh, get your account out of wreck. Get your cr credit scores. Get it into abundance. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 23. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 23. He said, Then He will send the rain for the seed that you have sown in the ground. And the food that comes from your land will be rich and plentiful. On that day, your cattle will graze in an open pasture. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 23. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 23. Now, if you're going to have the rain of God, if you're going to have the harvest come, you got to get a seed. You gotta get a seed in the ground. You gotta get the right ground. The ground that you gotta sow in. The widow of Sarafat, she sowed the seed in the life of the prophet. He said, Make for me first. And Elijah said, As you make for me first, as you put God first, he said, You will never lack again. Throughout the famine, she was feeding all the other people in her household. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 30, Isaiah chapter 30. 
and verse 23. Now, Psalm 135 and verse 7. He causes the cloud to rise from the ends of the heart, and he sends lightning with the rain and bring the wind from his storehouses. In the name of Jesus. We give God the glory and praise. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Gloria, good in God bless you, woman of God. God bless you, Lady Gloria. God bless you in the name of Jesus. You're doing wonderful. God bless you, woman of God. And Cynthia Reed and Stephanie Guerrero and everybody who's been on the broadcast. God bless you, everybody. Wendlin Uluatosi. God bless you, woman of God, in the name of Jesus. Jason Barker, God bless you, everybody. All right, I acknowledge everybody who's tuning in on the, on the, on the broadcast, and I, I celebrate you. I, I thank the Lord for your life. Just in case I can't see your name, it's, it's probably you didn't make a comment, and I try to go through the comment. I see all those people, but I, I'm, in a, I'm in a car now, and I'm, you know, kind of moving, moving on the transit. I, I can't see you from the big screen on the computer, but, but I acknowledge everybody, and I celebrate the Lord, and I thank you, Cynthia Reed. I can see that. Bless you too, Gloria Gooding. All right, God bless you, everybody. Okay, we give God the glory and praise. I'm going to conclude this series now. I'm concluding it. I, I started out this week. I didn't have a broadcast last week uh, because we're in transition and all that. And, and, and so I had to do all my teaching on Tuesday and also on, uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, and today. I try to finish the series on the release and the showers of blessing. Just in case you miss it, you want to go on my YouTube, Abraham Peters, and you want to go on my profile and, and try to, you know, like my page dr Ivan peters and and also you can you you can you can have a, re, a replay of that and i believe that god's going to bless you richly i believe god is going to increase you uh for for, for some time now I'm, 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 the time for my broadcast is going to change you know i've been coming uh, i don't uh, because we're in transition and when we get you know uh really settled down and in our study and my office and all that we, we're going to be back to our regular time for those of you who follow me and i appreciate every one of you and i believe you keep us in prayer as we pray for you also and i believe the broadcast is blessing you one way or another i believe you've been blessed and uh, it's only just uh, the right thing also to do to sow seed and bless us uh, 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 and if you want to do that you can message me and, and i'll let you know how you can do that as you inbox me and we love you all we bless you in the name of the lord on behalf of my wonderful woman of god reverend terry we say god bless you in the name of jesus christ i'm going to keep you with this word of the lord and and and, and as we go and, and on the broadcast i'll be back i'll be back next time in the name of jesus now some uh, Psalm 18 and verse 28. Psalm 18 and verse 28. You're going to say, Lord, lighten my candle and enlighten my darkness. Psalm 18 and verse 28. Say, in the name of Jesus, as I go through the second half of the year, as I go through the month of July, as I go forward from here, Lord, lighten my candle. Lighten, I will not grow up in darkness. Lighten my candle. Shine away for me. Make a way for me. No more darkness for me. You see, all those sorry stories you got and all the bad things that happened in the past and all the things the enemy's done and all the still kill and destroy, let it go. Quit whining about it. Quit complaining about it. Say, Lord, lighten my candle. Lighten my light, oh God. Shine the light around me. Shine the light around me, oh God. Uh, do amazing things for me again oh god let the rain fall let the heavens be opened over me lord let me go into a new dimension let your strength come upon me let me run and like a eagle let me fly like an eagle and i will not faint no more and i will shine oh god take me to the rock that is higher than high you gave anna a testimony you gave her a son and blessed and the, the and the bible says that samuel became a great prophet none of his word ever fell to the ground uh, you want to pray for your children 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 that the blessing of God going to be upon your generation and none of them will fail. None of them will go in prison anymore. None of them will go in destruction and destruction and, and the, pit, the, the Lord will rescue them from the pit of destruction. Where we started from, 1 Samuel chapter 14 and verse 45. The people rescued Jonathan. They said, Saul, you ain't going to kill this one. God has his hand upon him and we're going to deliver him. We're going to rescue him that he did not die. That you will be rescued from every pit of destruction. You'll be rescued from every evil people. But God will bring the right people to bless you, to help you, to support you, to increase you, to encourage you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is hope for you. There is light at the, at the, at the end of your tunnel in the name of Jesus Christ. What the enemy has done is past. Let it go with the past. Let it go with the June. Let it go with the past month of this year. Go into the new quarter. Go into the new month go into the last half of the year with expectation with a new orientation with a new art uh, with, 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 with a heart filled with hope in god and believing in god and bless the name of the lord uh, in the name of jesus say lord uh, let 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 your light 
Lord, lighten my candle and lighten my darkness in the name of Jesus. Psalm 18 and verse 28. And lighten my darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Like I said, you want the showers of blessing, you want that great harvest, you got to sow a seed, you got to sow in the good land, you got to receive, and the harvest will come in the name of Jesus. When the rain comes and you ain't got no seed in the ground, you're not going to get no harvest, you're not going to get no nothing. But when you sow, the Lord will cause his blessing upon it to increase and you'll be blessed richly in the name of Jesus. Give him the praise and glory as we bless the Lord and thank the Lord for everything is done. He's a faithful God. He never change. He's always there and he will never let you down. He's always faithful. Give him the praise and glory in Jesus mighty name. Father, we bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We thank you because you are good and your love and your mercy endure forever. Thank you for great things you have done. Thank you for mighty things that you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for we shall enjoy the abundance of the goodness of the sound of the rain and the release of your showers in this new season in the name of Jesus. Give him the glory and praise in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Somebody shout an amen like a thunder and say glory to God and glory, glory, glory and praise to God. Hallelujah in Jesus' mighty name. All right. We love you and have a wonderful weekend and Shabbat Shalom to those who are going to be on Shabbat and make sure you go to church on Sunday morning and God bless you all and we'll see you next time in Jesus' mighty name. Like I said, we're in transition. It's a summer and we're moving and all that and, and so my, 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 my broadcast is not going to come at a regular time. I can just pop in anytime and the Lord will be glorified and I believe you'll be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. We love you and we'll see you next time. Shalom, Shalom. Have a wonderful time in the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. See you.